The Voyager probes have transformed how we explore space. Even after more than 45 years, these remarkable machines keep going, journeying through the darkness of interstellar space. In spite of their limited memory and slow communication, they have become icons of perseverance, enduring the frozen vacuum where light fades into distant stars. Launched in 1977, both Voyager 1 and Voyager 2 have traveled far beyond the solar system, entering uninhabited regions of technology. Their data, sent from places beyond vast distances, continues to surprise scientists. Recently, Voyager 1 sent back confusing signals that didn't match expectations, creating a puzzle for engineers at NASA. This raised concerns about the spacecraft's systems and its ability to continue the mission. Voyager 1 blasted off on September 5th, following Voyager 2 just 13 days apart. Their primary mission was to explore Jupiter and Saturn, focusing on their moons and rings. But they went far beyond, revealing details of the Milky Way's edge. They've traveled farther than any object humans have made. Their findings include volcanic moons, icy satellites, and stormy atmospheres. Voyager 2 gave us humanity's first close look at Uranus in 1986 and Neptune in 1989. These were breathtaking moments. Neptune's blue atmosphere and violent weather were recorded in vivid images. Moons like Triton were discovered by Voyager 2, which displayed icy volcanoes and cold geysers. NASA extended the Voyagers' lives by turning off non-essential systems, such as heaters, to save power. Voyager 2 may continue working into the 2030s. This would allow even more deep space data to reach Earth. When the mission ends, it will mark the close of a defining moment in space exploration. From Jupiter's storms to Neptune's frozen plains, the Voyagers mapped previously unseen worlds. An earlier surprise was Europa with its smooth ice shell possibly hiding a liquid ocean. Io, a volcanic moon of Jupiter, was another, bursting with eruptions. These discoveries showed that distant moons are not dead rocks. They're active, complex, and possibly habitable. Voyager found 10 new Uranian moons, detailing their rocky makeup and dynamic orbits. On Neptune, it recorded 1,000 miles per hour winds and giant storms. The largest moon of Neptune, Triton, turned out to be among the coldest places in the solar system, with erupting volcanoes spraying nitrogen gas instead of lava. Voyager 1 flew near Titan, Saturn's hazy moon. Its thick orange atmosphere intrigued scientists. New hypotheses emerged from these encounters about the outer solar system, challenging prior beliefs. Traveling at immense speeds, both Voyagers captured detailed images from millions of miles away. On Jupiter, they revealed massive red storms, some larger than Earth. Io's volcanoes made it the most volcanically active object ever found. This forced scientists to rethink how moons work beneath their icy shells. Moons like Europa and Enceladus might have subsurface oceans, offering potential places for life to thrive. Voyager 2 also studied Miranda, the moon of Uranus with a twisted landscape. It discovered Uranus's magnetic field was strangely tilted, unlike those of Earth or Jupiter. At Neptune, it photographed the Great Dark Spot, a swirling storm like Jupiter's red spot. Voyager 2 also found six new moons and confirmed the sporadic rains of Neptune. After passing the outer planets, the probes continued studying the heliosphere, the bubble of particles and magnetic fields surrounding the solar system. Crossing the heliopause, where solar influence ends, they entered interstellar space. There, the Voyagers detected rising cosmic rays, reshaping theories about what lies beyond the sun's reach. These insights have changed our understanding of the universe's structure and the forces shaping our galaxy. Though space is silent and cold, the spacecraft's instruments continue to report subtle signs of energy and motion in the cosmic void. Despite their age, the Voyagers keep transmitting, thanks to the Deep Space Network, a global system of radio antennas turned to pick up even the tiniest signals. Each message takes more than 20 hours to reach Earth. Yet, the information remains priceless. Built with 1970s technology, these spacecraft still function. 
Their plutonium power sources, once expected to last a few years, continue supplying enough energy to run essential systems. Each signal they send home defies the odds and celebrates the engineering that made their survival possible. On board both spacecraft is the famous Golden Record, a time capsule carrying sounds, greetings in a variety of languages, music, and images from Earth. These were meant to introduce intelligent beings that might discover the probes to human life. Now floating far from the sun's rays, these records are humanity's first attempt to communicate with alien life. The Voyagers are no longer just tools of science. They're ambassadors of Earth, drifting among the stars with messages from our planet. They've inspired new missions, such as the James Webb Space Telescope and Europa Clipper, which follow the paths carved by these pioneering probes. They've proven that robotic exploration can travel incredible distances, showing that bold dreams backed by solid engineering can break boundaries. Even now, low-power signals from Voyager reach Earth from billions of miles away. These faint beeps still excite scientists, who interpret each as a triumph of human spirit and technological genius. From those signals, we learn about plasma waves, radiation belts, and the mysterious interstellar medium. 